Hi everyone, welcome to Entomology. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of our program and who we are. So why study entomology? Well, um, maybe some of you have heard of entomology before, maybe some of you have not. Entomology is a very niche field. We have about 10 students within our major. This is especially problematic because we know insects affect humans on a multitude of different levels. So having scientists studying insects is very, very crucial in our society. So why study insects, okay? So we know insects make up more than 50% of all the species in our planet. So given their diversity and their significance on, on the impact of humans, they're very, very important to study. They're also found in nearly every habitat and there are estimated to be 10 quintillion insects in the world. So why not study that kind of diversity? Insects are everywhere. They um, inhabit virtually every land surface. Um, so they're all around us if we just take some time to look. So insects have positive impacts on humans. So they can be uh, really beneficial pollinators. So our supermarkets would look a lot different without them. Um, we use them for biological control. We use them for decomposition as environmental indicators and also for products like silk or like honey. Um, they can be useful to us. So to that extent, the careers you can have within entomology uh, is in apiculture. So beekeeping is the fastest growing kind of use of agriculture in the US today. So uh, many people uh, kind of operate companies of commercial beekeeping um, and they're constantly hiring. Also, we need to conserve populations of insects that are very crucial to us. So there are a lot of jobs in conservation, particularly when that person has a focus in entomology. In decomposition, we know that insects can um, degrade different compounds in our environment. So this can be utilized for human waste. So as an example, the black soldier fly, um, some uh, entrepreneurship companies kind of used um, these as a startup to decompose waste. And they've kind of been able to raise a lot of money through this activity. So insects, also the practice of entomophagy, sounds gross, right? But actually this could be um, a very uh, good nutri nutritional alternative that doesn't really harm our environment. So internet, uh, insects can be uh, eaten and a lot of research that goes into the nutritional value and looking at the cultures across the world that eat insects is also very important. And there's also careers in biological control. So working for the USDA and pest management companies to kind of look at ways how we can use the natural enemies of insects to control their populations. Um, insects can also be used in forensic entomology. So this is the use of insects and how they um, cross over in the legal field. So people that specialize in knowing a lot about insects can be brought to a crime scene to better estimate the cause of death the time of death and the circumstances of those deaths. Also, there are scientists that are entomologists that are specialized in witness testimony and interpreting the data and communicating that in um, a legal aspect. So those are the positive, but a lot of us actually study insects because of their negative impacts. So a lot of us don't like insects and we're trying to kind of control their population. So we know that the mosquito is the most dangerous in animal in the world because of its ability to vector different diseases. So we see the bottom two flies um, are especially important vectors. We know cockroaches and bed bugs are also really just sort of pests. We don't want them in our home, but they're a co common problem in urban environments. And then two on the right here are these kind of insects we see that damage plants uh, here in New Jersey. So a lot of research in their management and, and control needs to be uh, conducted. So these careers kind of pertain to government identifiers. Somebody needs to be able to identify which species are a problem and which are not when they're coming into the US. There are also careers in medical entomology. So down here is the Bill Gates Foundation. Bill Gates funds a lot of the end malaria program. So you need a lot of entomologists to be able to educate, communicate and conduct this research and go to places to kind of prevent these disease happening. Also vector biologists, understanding the ecology between um, insects and the vectors that they, um, the diseases that they vector. Also big companies, um, Monsanto are constantly hiring entomologists. 
we don't want these insects interfering with our agriculture. They're direct competitors to the food that we need. So there are different job positions for entomologists within these companies. We also use insects uh, as important scientific research tools. So Drosophila melanogasters resulted in eight Nobel prizes. And this is because we're able to utilize their genetics to tell us more about human diseases. Um, so now I'm gonna tell you a bit about the curriculum. So our curriculum, most people typically find entomology later on. So we have an accessible and diverse curriculum that can be accessible if you find it a bit later. The courses are tailored to practical skills and crucial to those in careers in entomology. And we think that our curriculum will enable you to take this easily as a double major or a minor also. So here are the credits. We have requirements for the major. So some of these will overlap with some of your SEBS requirements. Principles ecology will overlap with many other subjects too. And we offer many of these classes because our department is so small every other year. So we also offer classes in careers and professional development. We really wanna help you be able to find a career after you've fulfilled your degree in entomology. Um, we have seminars every week. So this is a good way for you to interact with other people in the field. And then we have entomology electives. So these are courses you may pick based upon your interest. If you're interested in the bees or in a forensic application, you can really tailor your degree to, to yourself. Um, we're also uh, gonna be hosting public health entomology soon, um, which is something to look out for. So general electives, these are kind of anything that's relative we feel to entomology. And um, at the bottom of our curriculum, you can kind of see which track is best for you based on the career path you want to take. So this is what it would look like if you were going into a career in pest management. So this is an overview of the spring courses. If you have any questions about these courses or you're interested to just kind of see um, what it's like to take an entomology class, you're welcome to talk to me about these classes. And um, these are the requirements for the, for the minor, um, uh, kind of small, able to incorporate between any other degree. We also offer research problems in entomology because our department is small. It means we're able to accommodate a lot of different research interests. Um, it's an essential component for graduate school, school programs and also many jobs in pest management. We also can give you the opportunity to attend conferences and present your data. And um, so it's good for your professional development too. And this can also overlap with your SEBS research credits too. So you can kind of go through our department website and kind of pick out who the professor is that aligns with your research interest too. The Entomology Club uh, is a good way to get involved. Um, this is a group of students in the major and the minor um, that are interested in entomology. Um, they have different outreach, professional development, um, and kind of experience with doing fun stuff like uh, curating insects. We also offer entomology games teams. This is like a quiz bowl team that competes nationally every year. So we also encourage students to kind of try out for these quiz bowl events. So if you have any questions about the major um, or in entomology in general, please let me know. This is my information. You can also find it on the entomology website. I'm looking forward to speaking to you soon.